Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to another great day of learning. Uh, hopefully everybody has had a great week. Uh, good start the first quarter. Um, March Madness is going on. Uh, I do believe, like I'm recording this on Thursday night, so I'm not certain who won and who didn't win. But I think Iowa just lost. And so that's kind of hilarious to me. So let's get to announcements. All right, today is Friday, March 18th, 2022. Two, and these are your morning announcements. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to reveal the genius of each Wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. All right, let's get Wildcat ready, everyone. Our winter coats, backpacks, and purses are in our lockers. Our hats are off. Our hoods are down. Our AirPods are in our pocket. Our phones are in our lockers. Let's take a look at today's schedule. It is period advisory, and then it's periods four, five, six, seven, eight. Women's History Month, honoring the contributions of women. We asked the question, who was the first woman to be named Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year? Well, Sergeant Garcia from Miss Cleman's class was the first person to answer, and that answer is Billie Jean King. All right, she's one of the most celebrated tennis players of all time. She was the first woman to be named Sports Person of the Year by Sports Illustrated. In 1973, uh, Billie Jean King defeated Bobby Riggs in the most talked about tennis match in history. That was uh, uh, female versus male, and she smoked him like big time. Uh, she was the founder and first president of the Women's Tennis Association, and she fought for equal pay for women in sports. So that means when uh, tennis events happen, like Wimbledon and things like that, sometimes the prize money is more for the men than it is for the women, even though the women are bigger draw, especially with uh, uh, Venus and Serena and, and sometimes like that. So the, she fought for the equal pay for women in sports. So that is Billie Jean King is our focus for Women's History Month. And here is your next trivia question. Should be pretty easy to look this up and we'll learn about this person, her, on Monday. Who won the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize? Who won the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize? First one in the email, or I guess it gets down here. Some of you all try to beat email and that's impossible to do, but who knows? And who won the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize? All right, Diagnostic IXL, today, during lunch, I will be having a table out there in the, either in the cafeteria house, I don't have to show, I'm not decided yet, but make sure you have your IDs, so you can tell me, like, I'm going to, like, you're going to show me your name, I'm going to look on my list, if you have both diagnosed and both, you will get a shamrock, that could be worth, uh, it could get you a sucker, it could get you a Gatorade, it could get you a candy bar, you get your whole big bag of Takis, a small bag of Takis, or maybe it could get you a $20 bill. And so that's going to be today during both lunches. And so if we, and if we miss you too, I will uh, keep those shamrocks and pull you on Monday. I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want you to miss out if you're absent today. Of course, if, if you're absent today, if you're not watching this. I just figured that out. Mr. Pickcock will slow on the uptick sometime. So uh, we'll make sure you get it the next day as well. Then we get Roarbox. You can purchase things with Roarbox. And we'll bring back the Roarbox for a year. We'll bring back the Roarbox next week. Uh, and we'll pull out spring break. We'll put some cool stuff in there, too. Uh, Chromebook usage. Students, please take care of your Chromebooks. Uh, students that intentionally break their computers, their bezels, their hinges, their screens, or, their, or continue to lose their computers will not receive new ones unless you uh, pay for the old breakages. And the bezel is around your screen, so don't remove those. All food should be in the cafetorium. No food should be eaten outside the cafetorium. And no juice boxes should be taken out at breakfast, period. End of discussion. No milk cartons are to be taken out of the cafeteria. End of discussion. If we see you with it, we're going to think, you're, you know, you're breaking a rule, and we'll give you a consequence. Speaking of food, you're, we are enabled to heat up food or cook food in, for students. Students, you need your ID at all times, especially in the cafeteria. I will use it for breakfast and lunch. You know, it's not going to be noisy in the cafeteria too. So I do want you to have your ID tomorrow, uh, today to go over for your shamrock as well. All cell phones are in your locker between 915 and 420. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And let's talk about advisory. Talk about advisory today for March 18th. It is all A plus days. Now, if you want, if you tell me, if your teacher calls me and says, hey, some of my students want to work on diagnostic IXL, don't start the shamrocks yet. I'm more than fine with that. I can pull, like, I, I just write your name on a shamrock. I don't have to write your name on there. I just write it on what's behind there. That's not a problem. Uh, let me know. 
and then we'll go ahead and um, uh, we'll go ahead and then uh, give you one uh, tomorrow. If you want to spend a little time this morning, I can run my list right before going to lunch uh, by the end of advisory. So I'll just say by the end of advisory, I'm pulling that list for for lunches if you want to spend some time in here. Just a word, uh, those of you who are going out for spa day in the future, because the weather's turning nice, um, we really got to avoid the track because it's under construction and we we're, but it's not safe out there. For the track TV days, we've got some different things we put in place for that. But the baseball fields, teachers, you may you may use those. Also, to my walkers, uh, really, we do not want you walking to school at all. Uh, we want you to take the bus because it's very unsafe uh, at 73rd, at 71st, third and ditch over here, and then crossing either way is not safe. So please take the bus into school. And that's what uh, I really want you to understand. So walkers, there is really no one who is supposed to walk here at school. Everyone is assigned a bus. And so we really don't want anybody walking to school. Don't forget every walk and every day gets better. Again, walking to school, I really don't want it. So don't like, and it's very unsafe over here. We have people who come in late, like, like there's just, it's just an unsafe area. It's not your fault. It's not the school's fault. It's the way that they're like constructed around here. Not enough sidewalks, not enough like crosswalks. That's an issue. And it's not, again, it's not your fault, but walking to school is really, we don't want to do that here because we have so many, we have buses for everybody. And so let's make sure we're riding the bus in and not, and not walking to school. It's very unsafe around here. So everybody have a great Friday and we will see you around. I hope we'll see you at lunch with a shamrock.